Now let's add additional data to our database. First we're going to double click the customer table so that it opens it up. It's important that you understand how to navigate through your data sheet so that you can enter more data. In order to do this you can hit the tab key and it will move you through the records or you can hit the enter key and it will move you through the record as well. First we need to create a new record. In order to do this I can hit tab until I get to the first name field of this new record. I can click inside of this field to create a new record or here in the record section of the home ribbon I can select new to create a new record. From here I'm going to enter more information so I'm going to enter three more people's information. As you enter data you will tab to the next data field. You can t indicate the one that you're working on you'll notice has this little mark that looks like a pencil. That's the edit record symbol. You'll continue entering the information that you need. The customer ID number is an auto number so once you get to this location and you tab past it and fill in the next bit of information it will number this to the next number in sequence. Now that you've entered your data, after you've reviewed your data, you may see that you need to make corrections to your data. To make corrections, you can double click inside of any field and type in the change that needs to be made. In order for it to take, you'll just simply hit enter and it'll move to the next tab. You can do this in any of the fields other than the customer ID number. Once you've made all your selections you may determine that you have an extra person. You'll simply select the person that you need to and then you'll come on the home ribbon to the records section and you simply click delete. It'll ask you and confirm that it deleted the number of records you had highlighted says if you click yes you won't be able to undo this delete operation. Are you sure? And I'm going to click yes. Now that I have the information in here that I want I'd like to see what my printout will look like. I simply click file and print. I can do a print preview to see what my actual report will look like. I don't have to print it. I can just look at it. From here, from the print preview ribbon, I can click close print preview and it takes me back to the table that I was working in. From here, I can close my table and it may or may not ask you to save your work. This is how you create and edit a data sheet.